everyone! Happy New Year! Yay! Um, it is now 2016 and it's a whole new year. I am going to talk with you today about um, my goals, my crafty related goals. Um, I have a lot. Last year I only had one goal <laughs> and the year before that I had more. Um, I think I had like six or seven crafty goals and something like that. But I will put links and stuff to the previous videos. I will also put a link up to yesterday's video where I talked about um, how 2015 was for me. Like I reviewed it a little bit. So anyway, this is a brand new year and let's talk about what's going to happen this year. I'm really excited. Um, I know that like, you know, sort of it's, it's very commonplace for people to make New Year's resolutions or goals or whatever you want to call them um, this time of year. That's just what people do. I think it's because it's sort of like wiping the slate clean um, on the last year and saying this year is going to be better and great. And you know, for the most part, um, every year, at least for me, has been better than the last. I mean, last year was not the best, but I think it ended up pretty well. So <laughs> I was pretty excited about that. All right. So I have my list of goals here. You can see there are, there are a lot of them. I counted them. There are 15. I know. Don't worry. It's fine. I I was like, maybe I should get rid of some of them. And then I was like, no, no, this is what I want to do. So that's what's going to happen. Um, let's just go ahead and start talking. We'll play off of last year. Um, last year, my goal was to become more organized or be more organized. And I still want to continue that a little bit because, well, who doesn't want to be more organized? Um, but here's what I have under the organization headline. I would like to update my Ravelry stash. Um, I have already, when I, I pulled out my yarn for a stash flash, which is coming. Um, I haven't edited, edited it yet. Hopefully I'll do that soon. But I did pull out all my yarn and before I put it back, I took pictures of everything so that way I wouldn't have to drag it out to take pictures again. So I have the pictures taken, I just have to actually go in and put the stash entry and all of that. That's going to probably take me a little bit because I don't I, I don't really want to put them all up in one day. I feel like that's going to flood everybody's feed if you, if you check your friend feed. Um, you see what people do, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But I want to get that done. Um, I also want to keep there's a lot to do with Ravelry on here. Um, I want to keep my Ravelry um, updated with regards to my stash. So if I get new stash, um, I, or or I use it, that I'm making sure that I update it accordingly. And also with my projects. Uh, 2015, I was not the best at putting everything on my project page. I was not great at taking pictures of everything, and I want to do better because I, it helps me, it just helps me. So I want to do that. And also with regards to my Ravelry queue, right now it's a mess. It's just kind of all over the place. I've got stuff that I've added forever ago that I really don't have any interest in uh, making anymore. It's, I just want to reorganize it and actually have things on there that I want to make <laughs> and actually use it as a queue, like a legit queue. So that's going to be, you know, those are like ongoing things that, you know, I just have to kind of get in there and do it one, one or two days and just make it, make it work for me. And then the last organizational thing I have is that I'm going to go in and make sure that the drawers in here, my office are organized. I mentioned on the video yesterday, um, that the drawers especially in this one, like they weren't organized by material or whatever. It was just kind of, I just throw stuff in there. So I want to get that organized because I think it'll help me one, make sure I don't buy like, you know, 20 Sharpies and <laughs> two, you know, just so I can find things when I need them, which is always nice. And then comes the things I want to make. 
like the projects that I want to do. I have eight of these, so, um, well, eight line items. I have quite a few things that I want to do, but here we go. The first thing I want to do is I want to actually sew two things. I have not used my sewing machine in a while. Um, I need to get it, I need to get it looked at, or I don't know, I think that something is wrong with it, like with the, the bobbin doesn't, you know, the thread that comes up from the bottom, it comes from the bobbin in the bottom, it doesn't always catch, and I'm not sure, I haven't really, like, looked it up to see why it does that, if there's something with my tension, or, I don't know, if it's the machine, if I need to get it cleaned or fixed, or I don't know, but I need to look into that, because that was the issue that I had the last time I used it. Um, and, you know, I want to be able to use it. And I have fabric that I have bought specifically for things. I just haven't used it yet. <laughs> I, um, I'm thinking project bags. I'm really looking for, like, a smaller sized project bags that, like, I can put small projects in to take with me. Like, that'll fit in my purse. So, but we'll see. I am going to finish that crochet blanket. I wrote on here, I called it the never ending blanket, but it's the one, um, the uh, green and purple chevron. I've been working on that thing for years and I want to get it done. One, I want it, like I just want it to have. And also I would like, I would kind of like to start on another crochet blanket, a bigger full size, like Afghan blanket type thing. But I feel like I can't really start it until I have this one finished just because I just want it done and I don't really want two large blanket projects at once. I just, I don't want that. So I need to kind of get on that. Um, I want to make two cardigans or sweaters. So either a, you know, an open front cardigan or a pullover type sweater or something like that. Um, I don't know if these are going to be crocheted or knitted, but we'll see. I have some ideas. I actually know what I like to what I like to make, but I know me, and I know that there's a good chance that by the time I get to actually casting it on, um, I may change my mind. <laughs> so we'll see about that. But I do want two garments, just because um, you know it's nice. You can make them fitted the way that you want. And I might, I want just like a big comfy cardigan to wrap up in. So, and I have yarn. I have plenty of sweater, well, not plenty. I have some sweater quantity uh, yarn. So I'm going to do that. I think I've got like four sweater quantities or five, maybe six. I've got a bunch of that DK weight um, Bernat cottonish. And I don't know how much I have. I can't remember how many skeins I have. But I know I have some Knit Picks Hawthorne for a sweater. And I have some Knit Picks um, Wool of the Andes Superwash that I bought at the um, Cyber Monday sale. So I've got those two. And then I've got the Bernat um, Cottonish. And I, I know I think I have at least two, if not three, depending on the pattern in question. Um, and I feel like I've got, I've got some, I've got a large uh, quantity of acrylic, but um, I think it's like Red Heart Soft, but I was going to make a chevron, what is it, the crocheted chevron cardigan, um, which I have made another one of those with a different yarn, but I had some worsted weight I was going to make with that, and I ended up not liking it, so I ripped that back out, but I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Maybe I'll make that as a blanket if I ever get this one done. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I want to make six pairs of socks for me. I want to knit six pairs of socks for me. I'm going to say this is going to have to be like finished socks because, you know, I still have, um, I still have a pair, well, I have a pair that are currently on the needles and I'm going to count that as one of the six. So I should finish those, you know, and I'm okay with if they're ankle socks or, you know, full length socks or whatever. I just want warm things for my toes. Um, let's see. Charity. I have not done 
2015 I did not do nearly as much charity crafting as I normally do or would like to do so that's the thing that I I'm going to try to rectify. Um, I've got on here that I want to make at least 24 charity hats or scarves. So 24 total. So if I do 24 hats or 24 scarves or 12 of each or whatever, something in between, um, I, I just want to do that. And I'm thinking quick projects. I've got some scraps, like some great scrap yarn that would, that would work really well. Um, I just have to make the time to do it. So I'm going to do that. It's going to happen. I also want to spin um, a, at least a pound of fiber. I have quite a bit of fiber for someone who does not spin very quickly. I don't have a spinning wheel or a um, an e-spinner or anything like that, so I just use a drop spindle. And it takes me a little while, and also I've not been the best about working on it consistently, so that's the thing that I want to do. Because I also like buying fiber, I like looking at it, and I don't have room for any more. Like, it's my little yarn, or my fiber bin is full. So if I want to buy any more, I need to get rid of some of it. Not rid of it. I need to use up some of it. And then I can make something with it, so. I mean, it's all gorgeousness, right? Um, and then I want to do... Um, I want to do two cross-stitch projects. You know, I cross stitch, and for a while I kind of stopped doing it. I wasn't doing it, maybe a project every couple of years. I think I just kind of got into a bunch of other stuff, and it took me away from cross stitch a little bit. So I want to kind of get back to doing that more regularly. And I figure two projects are, you know, is a good number. They don't have to be big projects. They can be small. I just want to do two of them. Also, I like hanging them on my wall. So, yes, and then the last project that I wanted, that I project goal that I have is that I want to design three baby blankets. Um, I have done two baby blanket tutorials so far, I think, yes, yes, two baby blanket tutorials so far on the channel, and I really want to do more. One, I like making baby blankets. Two, um, I think that they are... The length of time that they take is like just enough you know it's not like a super quick project like a hat but it's also not like a full-size blanket which obviously takes me years <laughs> so it's just enough to kind of you know look at what you did and go wow I can't believe I just made that so I'm going to work on that um, I want to design three things so I've got a couple of ideas and some sketches and stuff so We'll see. But anyway, I hope to get three design tutorials and all that stuff out uh, this year. And then I have three other goals. They didn't really have a category. I literally wrote other and drew a line underneath it. <laughs> um, so the first one I have is to not let my watch later uh, playlist queue thing on YouTube get over 20. Currently, I'm, I'm at 19. Um, hopefully it'll be a little bit less because I was planning on watching some videos, but, uh, I got really behind last year. Um, I mean, I think that the highest the number I ever got to was like 63, but that's insane. It took me forever and I was months behind on some of the podcasts that I watch and there was really no excuse for it. It wasn't like I just didn't have time to watch those because I don't really watch a lot of, um, I do watch a lot of TV, but not during the day. Usually if I have something on in the background, it's it's a podcast, maybe some music, but uh, you know, it's a podcast usually. And for some reason, I just kind of stopped. I just kind of was like living in silence <laughs> for a while. So I want to get back to making sure that I am keeping up to date on that because I really like watching them. It's, you know, it's fun. It's, I like, you know, interacting with you guys, the people that I subscribe to and and if you guys subscribe to me too you know like we was, there's a little back and forth I really enjoy that but for some reason so I definitely want to stay on top of that because it got a little overwhelming it did get a little overwhelming when I was like how many am I behind this is crazy you know so I eventually was able to kind of get caught back up so where I'm in a reasonable amount of 
time. And it's not like I subscribe to that many podcasts that it's impossible for me to keep up. So, and when, when I say podcasts, I mean YouTube channels. I shouldn't probably say podcasts because they're not all podcast forms, but, you know, like just random videos or more podcast style videos or whatever. I, I just want to kind of stay on top of that. Um, the almost last thing is that I want to go out into the world and join a local knit or crochet group, craft group, whatever you want to call it. Um, I know that there are some near me, at least that I've heard. But the problem is, like, I don't have any local friends who knit or crochet. I mean, my friends are great, but they, you know, they don't really care about yarn. So I want to make some new friends who do care about yarn, some local friends. So that way, you know, we can go to festivals and stores and stuff together. <laughs> but, you know, just so there's, I don't know, there's that way that we can talk about stuff. So I want to do that. I'm either going to join a group or I'm going to create a group. We'll see. I'm thinking that's probably going to be after winter just because of some other stuff I've got going on. So we'll see. We'll see when that happens, but it will happen. And then the last thing that I want to accomplish crafty wise is a budgetary slash stash size uh, goal. And that is that I do not want to buy any yarn or fiber with the, except for the following exceptions. So basically what I'm saying is I've got a lot of yarn and a lot of fiber already. I need to stop buying stuff. So the only way that I am going to um, buy anything for is if I'm planning on starting that project within three days of receiving if I ordered it online or buying it. Um, it needs to be immediate. I can't have something that I'm like, well, I'm going to, that's going to be like the sixth thing that I'm going to start. No, I need to make sure that I am not keeping yarn just to keep yarn because I don't really have the room for that. And I have a lot of yarn. Um, I can buy yarn if it's for a video or a tutorial. I don't have, um, I know that there's some sizes that I don't really have a lot of or yarn weights that I don't have a lot of. So if I need it for a tutorial, I am perfectly fine with buying it. That's, that's fine. And then the last exception is that when I go to festivals, for instance, Rhinebeck, uh, I am planning on going to Rhinebeck this year. As long as everything works out, I will be going. I'm really excited about it. Um, and I plan on doing some damage. <laughs> I am, that's, you know, I mean, I'm going to try to like save my money. So that way when I go there and I will buy probably a ridiculous amount of stuff, I will be like, well, I'm okay with it. <laughs> it's one thing to go a little crazy, you know, money wise, you know, a few times or once, like a major, major once, um, than to be doing it like every month. Cause I just, where am I going to put all the yarn? And also I don't really think I should be spending that much money on something that I may not get to for two years because there's other things that I want. So, um, I am also planning on going to two other, uh, yarn and fiber festivals. I'm going to be going to Kentucky Sheep and Fiber, which is in May, I believe. Yes, May. And I'm going to be going to, it's early summer. I think it's May. And then I'm going to be going to a wool gathering, which is in, um, September. And it's at, it's in Yellow Springs, Ohio. So I'm planning on going there and my budget for those two festivals are, it's going to be a lot smaller than it, it normally would be. Um, and I'm kind of thinking, I, you know, I of course want to buy for a specific purchase or for a specific purpose. Like if I have patterns in mind and things like that, but I'm just going to try to make sure that I'm not buying like a ton of sock yarn if I already have a ton of sock yarn. Because I know when I go to Rhinebeck, which is not that much like further out from 
um, a wool gathering, like I'm probably going to buy soft yarn. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just kind of trying to fill gaps in my stash and with regards to my queue, the things that I want to make and, you know, so we'll see. I am thinking that I should have no problems meeting these goals. When I was planning everything out, I really wanted to make sure that I wasn't overextending myself. Um, I know my I know about the output that I can can achieve at, at one at one point in time, and I also know what I want to to make and and work on. So I'm thinking that as long as like nothing dramatic happens, like I have an injury or something like that, um, I should have no problems achieving this. And I even was a little conservative. Like initially I was like, I want to make 12, I want to knit pair, 12 pairs of socks. And then I was like, that's not probably going to happen because that's a, so that's a pair of socks a month. And I, you know, I'm like that just takes me a long time sometimes. <laughs> so I figured I'll do six. That's you know, a pair of socks. That's basically a sock a month. I can do a sock a month because I carry those. I usually carry those in my, um, my purse. So I can do that if I'm in the car or if I'm waiting somewhere or whatever. <sighs> but yes, now if I achieve my goals, when I achieve my goals, let's just talk positively. When I achieve my goals, I have decided that I am going to reward myself especially because I'm hopefully not going to be spending too much money <laughs> this year on just yarn that goes into stash. Um, I am thinking, my plan is, that I'm going to get a spinning wheel. I really enjoy spinning. Now that I've been doing it a little while, I really enjoy it. So I think it's okay um, to spend that money. And it is, you know, quite a bit of money for a spinning wheel. I mean, the, the price range is, of course, varied. But I want to get, you know, a decent one. Um, it doesn't have to be top of the line or anything like that, but you know, I do want one that, that spins well. Now, the only thing is I was not sure about a spinning wheel is because of obviously they can be, you know, they can take up a little bit of space depending on the type you get and everything. It can be take up a lot of space. Um, I don't want one that's huge just because even, even though we are planning on buying another house, which hopefully will be larger than our current house, I still don't want to take up a ton of floor space and I have to take into consideration my cats who would probably not leave it alone if I set it out. So it's probably going to have to be in a room that we can kind of keep closed off. And I usually keep my office closed off because my yarn is in here and it's not all put away and also they like to get in the shelves and stuff and knock stuff over. So yeah. Um, I have also decided that if I decide not to get a full spinning wheel, I may get um, uh, an electronic spinner, an e-spinner. I'm looking at, I've been looking at different brands. Um, it seems like everyone loves the Hanson uh, mini spinner and they are pretty. So that might be what I get. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We're going to see. because That's going to be at the, at the end of next year. So I've got like a year, <laughs> got almost a year to kind of figure out research and test stuff out and all of that. So um, I want to get something that I'm going to use and that isn't going to just sit somewhere and collect dust because that's not that's not what I want to spend my money on. So, OK, that's all of my goals for 2016. Um, there are a lot, as, as I know, uh, but I am really interested to hear what your goals are. If you make a video, please let me know. I will watch it. Um, but what are you what are you planning on doing? Do you have goals or are you just like no? I mean last year I just said I was gonna stay I was gonna become more organized. And that was fine and it worked for the most part. And um sometimes I need like specific goals and sometimes I need like a broad general kind of goal. It just depends on kind of what mood I'm in, I guess. But I think that this is I think this is good. I, I like the list, I feel very comfortable with it. Um, I spent a lot of time thinking about it, and yeah. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think I'm being like my overstretching myself? I don't think I am, but maybe, maybe you might think I am. Let me know in the comments and like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.